What's going on here, guys? Um, I replicated Joel Legace's cap dump circuit where he has a high voltage module fed with a 1.5 volt DC input source and a neon acts as a gate or a switch and um, it triggers a high amperage cap dump pulse to charge a battery or in this case I'm just running my 5 watt incandescent bulb to test the circuit and as you see I'll energize it with 1.5 volts DC for my supply and uh, it kicks on very impressive so there's the uh, neon firing and his circuit does as well give off radiant energy uh, my system here is completely shut off my self-sustaining generator it's in standby mode nothing is on it's not in self recharge mode and as you see his circuit does give off small amounts of radiant energy as you see this little detector light I have in my hand will glow when near it so many different ways to use this radiant energy very interesting we're consuming two watts and yeah here's the circuit I'll post a link to his video that shows you how to build this circuit um, if you touch it to the bulb, you'll see it glow even brighter. So there's the radiant energy. It's like we're converting um, we're converting the high voltage to a um, different type of pulsed energy. And we're only using two watts to do this. and I'll shut this off and you'll see that the radiant energy effects have ceased so that's pretty cool forgot to give a shout out to Joel Legace. Um I'm gonna experiment with using that to charge this battery see if we can rapidly recharge that battery to run an inverter and even further boost this system but yeah we'll see and uh... I'll post a link to that video. And, um, here it is again. He recommends to run it, up, run it off 1.5 volt DC input through the high voltage module. So that's very cool. And, uh, the switching of that bulb is what's giving off the radiant energy when the cap dumps into it. So that's pretty cool. It's just a high voltage module. SCR diode and a neon and it's flashing much quicker than that but the camera can't pick it up so pretty cool I didn't have the correct capacitor to use so I used my film capacitors he recommends an electrolytic but uh, I'm gonna order some of the right ones so yeah cool stuff cool stuff